Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today let's make a geode and gravity ice dyed hoodie. This hoodie is a women's buffalo brand hoodie, which I purchased from Costco. I bought this last year and I'm hoping they have them again this year because these hoodies dye up really nice. I'm using a straight edge and a washable marker and I'm drawing a diagonal line across the hoodie and I'm ending a little bit above the hem of the hoodie. I have a few extra random lines here so just ignore those. Now I'm going to fan fold this line that I drew on the hoodie and I'm going to tie it with some sinew. The purpose for using sinew is sinew is wax coated so any place where I tie a sinew line and I tie it really tightly that area should make a defined line. It may not be completely white because this line is going to be so long and the fabric is so thick but there will definitely be some form of a definition line where I'm getting ready to tie sinew. Because this line is long and because it is pretty thick because of the fabric. I'm going to wrap the sinew around the line and then I'm going to slowly pull it tight. And when I pull it tight, I'm going to place my hand on that line and push down. I'm going to try to keep the line flat as I'm tightening down the sinew. I don't want this line to buckle and there to be like a hollow area on the back of the shirt. I don't know if that makes sense, but sometimes whenever you pull a really long line of sinew and you try to tighten it, it will kind of cause that line to buckle, causing kind of a gap in the back. I don't want that. So if I push down on the line at the same time I'm tightening the sinew, it helps to keep that line flat and keeps it from buckling quite as bad. Now on the top part of this hoodie, I'm gonna tie geodes. I'm grabbing a single layer of fabric finding a place where I'd like for the center of a geode to be, and then I'm gonna slide my hand down to where I want the geode to end, or the outer rings of the geode to be, and that's where I'm gonna start tying. As I'm tying the geode, I'm gonna rough up the fabric too. I'm gonna to kind of fold it in weird ways, poke the center of the geode in, do everything I can to keep the fabric messy to make my geodes a little bit more interesting. They look more natural when they're not perfect. I'm even going to use the sinew to divide some of my centers into two different areas. That sometimes makes them look a little bit more interesting too when you have more than one center on the geode. I'm going to continue tying geodes on both the front and the back side of this hoodie, but only on this top half. I've gone ahead and sped the video up, but if you'd like to watch it at a slower speed or maybe even a faster speed, you can click the settings icon on YouTube and choose your playback speed.
Okay, so I've got pretty much the entire hoodie tied up with geodes, except for the sleeve. And I'm going to tie it pretty much the same way I have the rest of the hoodie. Once I have this top half covered with geodes, I'm going to go ahead and put some sinew lines in between the geodes, kind of try to flatten them down a little bit. That'll make it easier for me to put the die on top. And when I put some sinew lines in between the geodes, it's going to add a little bit of definition into that space as well. The lines won't be quite as defined because I won't be able to pull them as tight, but it will give a little bit of interest into that area. While I was adding some sinew lines in between the geodes, I went ahead and put another line of sinew close to my initial sinew line that I did diagonally across the hoodie. Not for any particular reason, I just thought it would be fun to try that. Now I'm going to place the hoodie aside and allow it to dry out completely. On thick folds like geodes, I like to apply the dye when the fold is completely dry. I feel like I get better color saturation in the middle of the geodes or the thick folds if they're completely dry. If you'd like some more information about this topic, on my website I have a blog and I have a blog post addressing this topic. There's a link down below this video in the description to my website. Since I'm going to gravity dye this hoodie, I'm going to go ahead and dye it down in the muck. And all that means is I'm going to allow the hoodie to process in the runoff from the melting ice that's mixed with the dye. So to do that, I've placed the geode portion of the hoodie down inside of a plastic dish pan. And this one I got from the Dollar Tree dollar store. I'm only placing the geode portion down in there. I'm going to let the other part of the hoodie gravity die. Since the geodes are totally dry, I'm going to lightly spray them with a little bit of soda ash solution, which I placed inside of a plastic spray bottle. Now I'm going to randomly apply dye to each of the geode sections. The dye colors that I'm using are Noble Purple from Happy Cat Tie Dye, Lilac from Dharma Trading Company, Elven Lily from Dharma Trading Company, Cosmic Energy from Happy Cat Tie Dye, True Violet and True Purple from Grateful Dyes, Vintage Purple from Dye Spin, and Goodberry from Happy Cat Tie Dye. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of additional dry soda ash over the top of the dye. Then I'm going to completely cover this part of the hoodie with ice. And I'm going to add quite a bit of ice because as it melts, that's what's going to form the muck. And so I want to have quite a bit of muck down inside of my container. Then to gravity dye the rest of the hoodie, I've taken it outside and placed this container on top of a metal shelving unit. Then on the second shelf of the shelving unit, I placed another one of the plastic dish pans to catch any of the runoff or the muck as it runs through the hoodie. So I've included process photos and what you see happen is the fabric from the hoodie pulls the muck up through the fabric and basically allows it to flow through the fabric into the tub or the container down below on the second shelf. 
which is what gravity dyes that lower portion of the hoodie. When I wasn't taking photos of the hoodie, I took and laid a long plastic lid over the top of this container to keep any of the birds and other things out of my muck and off the top of my hoodie. Then I left the hoodie outside for about 36 hours before I started rinsing it. It didn't dry out at all though, because there was still just a little bit of muck left down inside of the container. Not a whole lot, but still just a little bit. By the way, the day that I tie dyed this hoodie, the temperature was about 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So the heat index was between 100 and 110 degrees Fahrenheit. To rinse the hoodie, I took it to my utility sink and I started rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I untied the hoodie and warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing in hot water to rinse out the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Instead of continuing to rinse for a long time, I ran some really hot water in my utility sink, added a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent to the water, and just allowed the hoodie to soak. When the water cooled off, I changed it out and I continued that soaking process until my water was remaining almost clear. Then I put the hoodie, along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent, into my washing machine and I washed it using a hot water cycle. Okay, so I have washed and dried the hoodie and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think this one is really pretty. I love the purples together. I think they work really well together. This was a special order and the person specifically wanted purples. So I went ahead and waited until I got in my Happy Cat tie-dye order so that I could try Cosmic Energy and Goodberry on this hoodie. Truthfully, I used so many purples, I'm not exactly sure which ones they are on here, but I think all the colors work well together. And if you remember when I very first started rinsing the hoodie, the bottom portion was super dark and I was a little bit concerned, but as I continued rinsing and then after I washed it, it lightened up quite a bit. And the lower gravity dyed portion of the hoodie has a little bit more of a blue tinge to it. It's still purple, but it does have a blue tinge to it, which are some of the color splits coming out of the dye. Also, the original sinew line that's going diagonally has quite a bit of a blue split right in that area too, which I think looks really cool. It kind of sets that area apart. I did add the additional line, and you can see a little bit of definition from that, which is kind of fun, I guess. I think the shape of the geodes is really good too. They're a little bit unusually shaped. I even have one center of a geode on the sleeve, which almost looks like a cat. I don't know, I think it's always more interesting and unique when each one of the centers or each one of the geodes looks very different. And I think that's what happens on this hoodie. I also got pretty good color saturation. I do have a little bit of white, but most of that is because the dye color was kind of light in that area, not necessarily because I didn't get good enough saturation. I do have a couple little pink areas, which are dye splits, which came out of the dye. One of them is down on the pocket of the hoodie on the front, and the other one is on one of the sleeves. There's not much I can do about that. With this dye method, you do end up with some of those spots on your shirt just simply because the dye will blow around and the way that the dye moves, it just happens sometimes. If that's something that really bothers you, then this dye method might not be the one for you. I think it's neat too that the ties for the hoodie go ahead and dye as well. So overall, I love this hoodie. I think it turned out looking really pretty and I love all the purples. But what do you guys think? please drop me some comments down below and let me know. And if you've enjoyed watching the video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'll hit the bell, you'll receive a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.